What's good, everybody? So I seen this come across my timeline, man. All over, all over social media, people was in an outrage. You know what I mean? It's my first time of hearing of this uh, young lady, like E. Kane. Uh, colorist comments, you know what I mean? She sent out multiple apologies, two of them. And a lot of people still don't accept the apology. And uh, it was like the heat of the moment. And she said some things that she she retracted and, and taken back because her followers was offended. They said most of her followers are, are dark-skinned women. And it, it was all offended, you know what I mean? A lot of people that came out on different platforms speaking on what she said and not accepting her apologies, they feel like, you know what I mean, if you apologize it because you forced to be uh, apology, the apology ain't real. My thing is, she ain't had to apologize at all, right? So for a person to apologize multiple times, at least they considering that they was wrong and and, and the fact that what, what they said because of the heat of the moment of the situation. So like I said before, we can't just cr uh, crucify people. Sometimes I feel like this, right? Everybody comes from different environments, and sometimes. Our environment taught us how to speak a certain way or how to look at things a certain way, how to react in a certain way. And sometimes we got to mature and grow and understand, like, we, we, we went in on social media right now. We we, we, we we are taking care of our kids and our family. And sometimes our mindset got to be a little bit different. You know what I mean? Like me, I ain't in the business of bashing nobody because I know I've been in the heat of the moment. And I said some things that wasn't right. You know what I mean? And when I apologize, I don't want people to say, oh, man, was that real? It's like if I even take into consideration to say I am apologizing to you because I feel like that wasn't right. It wasn't aimed at you and it was the heat of the moment and I was triggered by something. Then you got to understand, like, I, I may have came from this environment where we aggressive. We just come off. We just say what, what's on top of our mind at that moment. And it ain't always right when we do that. So for all the people that's criticizing the young lady, it's like, Growth is, is changed. It, it, it's, it's showing people that I'm willing to, to, to step on the platform and say I'm, I apologize to y'all because I was wrong for what I said. The, the comments that she made, was it right? Yeah, everything she said is, is something that happens a lot in our community. Growing up, if a female was dark skinned, they always used to say this line, you cute to be dark skinned. They never said you cute to be light skinned. They never say stuff like that. Right, and as far as marketing and business and stuff like that, you know what I mean? If you took Kellen Rowland and then you took Beyonce, most of the time people want Beyonce over Kellen Rowland. And Kellen Rowland is an extremely beautiful woman. Coco Jones is an extremely beautiful woman. Angel Reese, brown skin to dark skin, they all beautiful women. But society and the mindset in the community is to always try to put down the brown skin and the dark skin woman and uplift the light skin one. Like I said before, her comments was from frustration and being triggered. And like I told you before, especially if you, you gotta think about her age, where her environment may, may have been, how they talk in the environment, and then learning a new style. You know what I mean? And understanding that, that I can't just say what I wanna say because I got a bunch of millions of people viral all over the world watching me. And I ain't trying to offend everybody. I'm trying to get at the person that's disrespecting me and my family. And it is not for everybody. Right, so for her to apologize multiple times, the people to still be holding this against her, I feel like this: we gotta identify where she come from, her environment, how they talk to each other, and then understand. Like I'm trying to grow by me even coming to you and saying I apologize. Now, if the person say I'm not going to apologize, that's one thing. But to say I I apologize multiple times to the community that built me and, and love me and appreciate me and I say I apologize to y'all because I didn't mean to offend y'all how you still gonna go against what she's saying and like I said before identify first the environment that the person came up from and then identify how do they talk to each other in the environment and then learning how to be more professional and then handling things in a better manner that's all I look at it you know what I mean? I don't feel like you got to bash a person. I don't feel like you got to stay on that. I feel like we got to grow all as one. And that's how I look at it, man. I feel like, like I said before, people that apologize, you know what I mean? You apologize multiple times. It's like, you know what I mean? You, you, but if you don't feel you're wrong, you don't apologize. If you felt you was wrong, you apologize. Like I said, I can't minimize somebody's apology. You know what I mean? Especially if they're saying it multiple times. Like I said, you don't got to forget that person. You don't got to work with that person. You don't got to deal with that person. You know what I mean? So it's like, 
I don't know. I just feel like that's just uh, an opinion of some people. I feel like sometimes you make mistakes and you try to grow from the mistakes. You know what I mean? That's it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's all you can really do. Like I told you before, I feel like you got to go back to the environment and how the person grew up because certain ways of how we speak. Like, I remember when I was going to uh, Oregon to go to school, right? And I come from Tyler Park, uh, urban area, north of Virginia, Tyler Park. And we talk a, a, a certain type of way, right? We, we act a certain type of way. We react to, to, to disrespect a certain type of way. But then when you get into a professional environment or environment around people that don't come from that environment, don't even understand what you're saying, it's just like, I got to learn a new way to how to handle things. Because in that environment, I handled it like this. In this environment, I can't handle it like that. Now I'm getting written up, all type of stuff going bad. You just got to learn as you get older and older on how to become a different version of yourself and understand that you're not in the mission of trying to hurt and de uh, diminish people, you know what I mean, or try to put people down like that. But like I said before, it's just learning. It's a learning experience. And, and I feel like in life, we all go through that. Because I definitely, when I, where I come from, is just different from their version of how to handle certain situations. You know what I mean? It is the right way and the wrong way to handle things. And that's just my opinion on that. I'm out. Y'all give me y'all thoughts and y'all opinion. So you all never make it nowhere, sister. On top of that, I hate to break it to you. Let me not let me not be let me not be insecure to you, sister. Let me not try to break it down to you. But have you understand I'm a light skinned woman? So I benefit from colorism. You're a dark skinned woman, sister. You can never make it to the to the heights I make it from. Oh, can we clock that one or is it gonna is it gonna hurt y'all feelings because it's me saying it? Can we be real for once and let's clock everything? Because I'm a light-skinned woman and I say the same sh Say you're not going to make it to the height time make it, bitch. You can't fuck with me. You're a dark-skinned woman. I want you to understand that. Don't come in my comments saying anything to me, bitch. I was supporting you because you was a black bum bitch like me. You was a black bum like me just getting on TikTok just for the love of the game because I wanted to make a way for my kids. But now I see you just a black bum bitch that hate on her. See, one thing about me, when I was trying to make a way for my kids and get off the hood, I didn't get nobody live trying to down talk them, trying to be funny. See, I was actually making videos trying to get off the hood, and you see what I make. I make over 40000 a month, because I, I was never in nobody else. Didn't I say I was wrong? How many times y'all want me to say I'm wrong? Because after I get off this live, I'm not addressing it no more. I'm not. I promise I'm not. I'm panted dust. I'm not one that's going to keep apologizing to social media. If y'all don't want to me after this, that's on y'all. I love y'all for being here anyways. I love y'all for changing the up to this point anyways. I'm not going to keep apologizing. I'm never going to kiss the social media's ass. Listen, only to my dark skin supporters, I apologize humbly in the humblest of forms. I responded to a comment making fun of my abuse and I went too low. And in the process of trying to offend her, how she hurt my heart, I hurt all my dark skin girlies. I want y'all to understand, if you know me, you know I ride for us. Dark skin, light skin, brown, I don't care what color you is, honey. I done went too low, and it was ignorant of me, and I shouldn't have dated. If you don't feel right with supporting me no more, block me, unfollow me, do what you gotta do, sister. You're next, sister. No videos, of course, because you're insecure because you're a dark-skinned black woman. It's okay. I know. See, as a fellow black woman, you should never be insecure where you don't have no pictures. You definitely don't have a top lip either. You get monkey. Oh, why you don't post any videos?